Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Today, um, my owl wing wanted to come and meditate with us. Um, owl medicine has been a part of my life for over 30 years. Um, I know there's a lot of different tribes that have a lot of different um, beliefs about owl medicine, and I'm not going to go into all the details of it, but for me, um, owl medicine started coming to me in my early 20s and um, has continued to come at important times in my life and transitions in my life. The first time was like, mm, I want to say 1992 five-ish um, and then it was sort of MIA for a while and came back full force in 2015 and um, I have some funny stories about owls that I will spare you <laughs> but one in particular I remember um, calling up Grandma Shirley and asking her um, if she had room in her freezer because um, a big owl had come to me and it was actually during a time when I was in ceremony and prayer about a particular thing happening in my life and our medicine person said to fast for 24 hours and go to water for four days in a row and that the message would come and what came the second day was an owl who offered itself to me and um, and so I called up Grandma Shirley and I said, do you have room in your freezer? I'm on my way to work and I have this owl and I need to process it. And um, anyway, so she gave me some really um, interesting information about owl medicine and from her perspective, so she's also Cherokee, and from her perspective, owl medicine um, is a women's medicine. I mean, there are other uses of owl medicine, but in this particular way, it's a women's medicine and it's a deep, deeply spiritual medicine um, that we use for um, transformation, for accessing our own wisdom, um, but mostly for healing, both physical healing and spiritual and emotional healing. So, um, so anyway, owl medicine came to spend some time with us today and, um, and I hope you enjoyed this as well. So we're going to start with a nice deep breath. And really slowing down your exhales. And again, nice deep breath. Slowing down your exhale even more. Grounding your energy deep into the earth. Choosing one of those four layers of the earth. Dirt, stone, water, fire. Settling back into your body. Just really letting that owl medicine open your heart, open all of your healing centers. Calling on your ancestors. Spirit helpers, Archangel, beloved mighty I am presence, creator, universe, source, God, creator, all that is. In Cherokee we say Nate Klinahi, the one who dwells above, the one who provides all. We call forth your invincible, instantaneous healing love. Anchoring that love energy deep into the earth, deep into our bodies, deep into all of our relations. And we 
ask that every interaction that we have today is founded in love. Every verbal interaction, every action, every thought towards ourselves or others is grounded in a place of love. when I'm calling on my animal relatives and plant relatives, owl medicine shows up. And it's reminding me of the 2015 owl medicine teaching that I received directly after Grandma Shirley shared with me. The owl came to me as I was drifting off to sleep that night. And I remember experiencing myself as the owl perched on a, an oak tree branch. And I was perched above a hiking trail and there were people walking along the hiking trail underneath me. And as I looked one direction, I could see sort of where they were coming from. I could see their past. And as they walked underneath me, I could see their now the truth in their present moment. And as I looked the other way in the direction they were walking, I could see their future. And really what this was, what this owl was teaching me was that owl medicine is about truth. And truth is contextual, right? Based on our past and our dreams about the future. But when we stay in the present moment, when we look and we peer into our reality in this present moment, we see truth. And that owl medicine, the love reveals the truth. There are other perspectives on owl medicine about death and transitioning to the other side and, and owls do also carry that, that medicine but that isn't all owls and it isn't the only medicine that they carry so this medicine of truth and this medicine of love and the medicine of ending cycles and beginning new ones is a really important medicine to understand so we're just going to breathe in that teaching Slow, controlled exhale. Belly button to spine. Grounding that energy deep into the earth. Into one of those four layers. Opening ourselves up to receive divine love. To receive divine truth. To understand our divine truth. to be open and loving and kind, compassionate to ourselves, to one another. Just letting that energy move through you. Grateful, grateful for this life, grateful for this moment, grateful to know our truth in whatever context is right for you. Just giving yourself a few moments 
to align your will with divine will, our will with divine will. Thanking our animal relatives, our plant relatives, our ancestors, our spirit helpers for going forth and making the path easy, for helping us to stay anchored in divine love throughout our day. I'm going to take just a few moments to enjoy the energy that we've created here. Nice deep breath, slow controlled exhale, belly button to spine, grounding that energy deep into the earth, grounding your intentions for today, settling back into your body, and again nice deep breath. Slowing down your exhale even more. Grounding your energy deep into the earth. Settling back into your body. And again, nice deep breath. Slow controlled exhale. Grounding your energy deep into the earth. Settling back into your body. Sending you off into your day. Bringing your awareness into the room. fully into this moment, into this day, knowing it's going to be a beautiful and blessed day.